Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient for the provided question. And here you can see I have selected a numerical in which we are provided with the two uh, variables age and weight and we are asked to calculate the Carl Pearson's coefficient for this data. And uh, you can see here in the in the age is here the difference is one and you may have a uh, there are basically two types of question in which you will find the variation in x is a small in a small quantity that is here it is constantly varying in uh, in terms in if you see in age there here the difference is just one there will be another ex uh, another question also which will have a high variation in uh, x in terms of x and as you can see here here is a second example which i will be solving in the next video after this and here you can see here the difference is here here first term is 148 and the second is 152 and the difference between these two is um, Four. Similarly, you can see here. Here we have the third term is 165 in x, and the difference is about around uh, 13. And uh, similarly, here the variation is uh, varying in in terms of x. So here the method of solving these two is a bit different. And uh, for solving this numerical, first of all, I would like to take you through the formula. So without any further delay, let's get started. So here you can see the formula for Carl Pearson's coefficient which is denoted by R equals to n times summation xy multiple of x and y and their summation minus summation x times summation y and whole divided by under root n times summation x square minus summation x whole square uh, multi multiply by n times summation uh, y square minus summation y whole square and uh, now what we need to do is we have to find the value of each and every uh, these variables in this formula and uh, after finding this formula we will simply put those value in this uh, equation for finding the value of r and uh, then we will get the final result so let us first draw a table and uh, after drawing the table we will find the uh, value of these variables accordingly so here is the table uh, we are asked we need we will need the value of summation x so here is the table separate table for x value of summation y so here is the table for y summation xy here is table for xy x square and y square now put the value of x and y so we will we have here x 1 2 3 4 5 so write down here 1 2 3 4 5 and the corresponding value of y for each value of x is 7 4 6 7 and 10 now what we need to do is we have to uh, let's calculate the value of x y and x y is uh, this is actually x times y means we need to multiply these two value so 1 times 7 is 7 4 2 times 4 is 8 3 times 6 is 18 and 4 times 7 is 28 and 5 times 10 is 50 now we need to calculate the value of x square x square this is x so value of x square will be 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 similarly 4 square is 16 and 5 square is 25 now time for y square and we have the value of y so for, uh, do the square of these terms so 7 square is 49 4 square is 16 Similarly, 6 square is 36, 7 square is again 49, and 10 square is 100. Now, we, are, uh, we need the value of summation of these terms. So, we will uh, create a, a raw here below this, this table, and then we will find the summation, value of summation of these terms. So, guys, now uh, here we will get the final value of summation x summation x we will add each, each term so 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 will be equals to 15 this is the value of summation x similarly summation y so we need to add this value summation y means add this all then we will get 34 and summation xy summation xy it will get 111 similarly summation y square it's going to be 55 
and similarly summation sorry summation x square this is summation x square and summation y square is going to be 250 now put this value in this formula and get the final answer and n is actually the number of terms here we have uh, five variables so n is going to be five if there were we were provided with the six uh, variables six data of x then uh, n is n is going to be six so it is just the number of term number of variables we are provided with so so i'm going to use this space uh, to find the fi calculate the final answer so we have now we have r equals to and the whole divided by n is 5 and this is multiplied by summation xy and the summation xy is 111 so write it here 111 and minus summation x is 15 and summation y is 34 so 15 times 34 and this whole root under i hope it is visible to you guys and now uh, final is n again so 5 n is 5 and summation x square summation x square is summation x square is 55 so 5 times 55 and minus summation x is whole square summation x is 15 and it's whole square so 15 square bracket close again bracket starts so n is again 5 here and this is multiplied by summation y square and the summation y square is summation y square is 250 so multiply by 250 and this minus so minus and summation y whole square summation y whole square summation y is 34 so 34 whole square 34 whole square and on solving this we will get the final answer and that is going to be 0 0.65 so this much in this video and i hope uh, this video was helpful to you guys and uh, in the next video I will be uh, solving the second example I which I saw which I already saw you in the beginning of this video so do subscribe this channel and do share this video with, with your friend see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself